Hi all, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Nivedita Gopinath from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will be seeing the installation of the Informatica developer tool. The agenda of today's video will be the overview of IDQ developer tool, installation prerequisites, step-by-step -step installation guide, how to launch the developer tool, followed by the demo of the installation process and the references. Let's get started. So, the Informatica developer tool is widely used by data integration users, which helps in creating profiles, mapping, workflows, and various other functionalities according to the use case. This is a thick client which we will be installing on our local machine. The installation prerequisites are as follows. Firstly, we will need to verify the installer files checksum value and the file size. As shown on the table 1, the version specific checksum values along with the file size will be available in the product documentation. Nextly, you will need to verify the minimum system requirements. You will need at least 1 GB of disk space to support the installation. And as shown on table 2, you will need the minimum system requirements to run the client. The client installation can be done on two modes, graphical and silent mode. In this video, we will be seeing the installation of the client in graphical mode. Once you download the installer package from the provided site, you will need to verify the checksum value and the file size after which you need to unzip the package. Once the installer files are unzipped, run the install.bat file as the administrator and follow the steps in the installer window by specifying the installation directory. We will see the steps in detail in the demo later. Launching of developer tool. It is always recommended to launch the developer tool using the run.bat file present in the mentioned path. Now let's dive into the demo on the installation of the developer client. I have downloaded the installer package and unzipped the file. Here you can see the installer files. Let's start the installation by clicking on the install.bat file. As this is a fresh installation, we'll go with install or upgrade option and click start. The installation is preparing. Now click on install Informatica client, click next. You'll be able to see the installation prerequisites. You can verify and click next. Here you'll have the option of choosing if you want to install both Power Center client and developer tool, else you can go with one. Now we'll just choose Informatica developer and click next. So here you can enter the installation directory as you're required. By default, the installation directory will be the local C drive, Informatica and the 1054 client. Now click cell next. Now you can click install. We can see the installation starting. This might take some time. The installation is completed. Now we can see that the installation status is success. If there are any errors that are being noted, you can find you can refer the log file in this path to troubleshoot the issue. Now we can click on done. Now the installation is completed. 
to launch the developer tool let's go to our installation directory click on clients developer client you'll need to start the client by using the run.bag file we can see the we can see the developer tool getting started now we have the informatica developer tool installed successfully you can refer to the mentioned product documentations for more detailed steps on the installation of informatica developer tool we would love to hear from you please reach out to us at supportvideos at informatica.com. You can tweet us at the mentioned Twitter handle. Thank you.